It's about us.
The lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. You fought with honor and purpose. For that, I put you in Gidrit's care. He will see you're treated well. I will, so long as you recant your friendship with that pot of warm piss, King Alfred. Agreed. Take her away! I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. 
I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I've passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once. A thousand times. A thousand. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basin. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can serve as Please, no. no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl. I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred. Wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke. You with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Hush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, that the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. By all the guards, Basim. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away.
Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenifertshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Basim and Hyphen have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Ranvi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chelbert has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Sheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. Wouldn't stop a lamp. Come on! I hurt my shoulder. Shake it off. Ha. Don't hold back. Follow through. Uh, and to your feet. Up. You keep moving as long as your body will follow. Uh. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. 
Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Don't fret until you have taken up the Elderman's title. Too many things can go wrong between now and then. My father thinks me fit already. I shouldn't want to disappoint him. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is the king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. He parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Our Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Captain Aneo, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlove, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You... I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Chailbelt, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Chailwolf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well. But Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. 
If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. You are wasting time! Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. You are wasting time! Now you dangle silver... Uh, uh. You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bought, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain soldiers from Shropshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see about the silver. How you dangle silver before me! Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Ap Kadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Hmm. Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will come available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. I'm waiting! We should settle this with blood, not King Rodri. words. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. No, enough of this nonsense. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Eva is increasingly agitated. I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. Guriat, are we in League Dane to buy me a throne? What say you? Take the silver. Depose your brother, and you will rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Eva is increasingly agitated. Rodri's brother will use the silver to take the crown himself, by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Eva, combat, no. now! Boneless Eva. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me, 
A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> by God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Just Hold give up already! Let's finished. stretch the need to... Eva! What have you done? Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva! Ah. You have scuppered the peace! Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah! A good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door!
We must let Bishop Dale Love know that the battle is done. Rotary's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. Ivar has a point. Rodri showed us nothing but contempt. Peace was not to be written today. You see, Adelink, Eivor understands. There can be no peace with these backward Britons. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Wesbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Good bishop. Have you made progress, my friend? Some. Have no fear. 